of the Eagle fans that were talking mess about them getting DeMarco Murray, gassing up their own line. I want to see where those Eagles fans are at, man. Like, <laughs> I was getting so many tweets, like, when you guys signed DeMarco Murray, just telling us how we messed up, how he's going to be a great running back, and how the Eagles offensive line is actually good, but <laughs> apparently they are not. Like, all right, look, I know I sounded like a little bit of a douchebag in the beginning. I am pretty excited, but let's start out with some stuff, man. First things first, the Cowboys defense is actually pretty freaking good, man. Like, you guys are kind of cutting them short, but Demarcus Lawrence specialized in stopping the run coming out of college. We got Sean Lee back. And on top of that, we drafted Randy Gregory, who's more of a pass rusher. We have Greg Hardy, and um, um, we drafted Byron Jones. We have a pretty decent defense, guys. It's not like, oh, gee, Willikers, DeMarco Murray sucks. I don't think the issue is DeMarco Murray, because whenever you get the ball to DeMarco Murray, the guy makes plays. He was hopping over Cowboys at some point, man. The guy makes plays but the problem with DeMarco Murray is he only can make plays in the open field which is why he was so successful last year the legion of room I know I do call the Cowboys O-line the legion of room made so much space for him and he's just not being used correctly in Philadelphia except on those passing plays but on those running plays he's not as to uh, Skip Bayless and as to all those people saying the Dallas Cowboys should go after Tim Tebow we're not doing this we are not doing this Tony Romo went down we are screwed we are a hundred percent screwed personally what I would like to see is us trade for a backup quarterback or us trade for like a first year or second year QB like a trade for Zach Zach Medenberger I'd support, a trade for Aaron Murray I'd support, a trade for Brett Hundley I'd really freaking support. That's what I'd like to see us do about this quarterback situation because Brandon Whedon will not take us to the playoffs and just throwing him in there isn't going to do us anything. If we're going to have a quarterback lose his games, choke away games, or anything of that nature, we might as well start developing our post-Romo quarterback. So if that's the case, we need to trade for a new quarterback. Finally, Eagles fans, I understand you guys are tripping. You guys made a lot of boom or bust plays. Signing Byron Maxwell hasn't looked really good so far. Sam Bradford has his moments, man. DeMarco Murray, we're still you guys are still trying to find a role for him. Is it time to panic? No. At least your at least your team for the most part is healthy. We don't got Des Bryant. We don't have Tony Romo. We don't we, we lost so many freaking players that I see us going like winning like maybe four or five more games for the rest of the season. But who knows? The NFL is very, very unpredictable. For all you know, Colt McCoy could lead the Redskins to a Super Bowl. Kidding. But anyways, guys, that's what I think, man. Tell me what you guys think about this Dallas Cowboys game. Tell me your takeaways from it. Tell me what you think the Cowboys should do about the quarterback situation and are the Philadelphia Eagles in trouble after investing that much money in Sam Bradford, Kiko Alonso, Byron Maxwell, the Legion of Zoom, etc., etc.? Besides that, I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'm signing.